So how will Simama happen? One of the things that we want to challenge our congregation this year is that you will actually gather a group of family members and that you will walk them through this experience. Now it could be your extended family, it could be your nuclear family, your spouse and your kids, it could be a group of nephews and nieces, it could be even just a sister that you want to walk through this with, maybe that's a safe space to start. You know, it could even just be a group of friends. For those of you who are too far from your family and you're not able to connect with, it could just be a group of friends that you say, let's walk through this together and we can each deal with our family issues. We want to make it as flexible as you. But here's the thing, we want to see what if we could each just take a group and walk through this experience together. You don't have to be an expert. The resources will be provided for you and all you have to do is just walk them through this experience. So how will Simama be supported? You see, every Wednesday during our weekly family night, we're going to take a few minutes, 7.30 to 8, just to equip you, give you a few tools about the week that is to come. And so that every single person has a sense of confidence going forward that they know what to do the coming week. Now, secondly, we are also challenging all our life groups right after that family uh, night space, 7.30 to 8, then at 8, we're going to encourage all the life groups that can to meet briefly just to pray and support each other in prayer. We really believe that it's going to be by prayer. It's not by power, but not by might, but by the Spirit of God. Uh, and as the families pray, as the, as the life groups pray, then at a time of your choosing, at a time of convenience for your family, you can then meet with them, whether it's a Sunday night, it's a Saturday morning, whatever works for your family. And because you're doing it online, you can do it anywhere. <laughs> from, from, you can meet people from across the world and you'll be able to then process the Simama experience together with your families, knowing you have the support and the prayer of your church community. Now, all our Sunday services in May and June will be aligned to the Simama experience. So you can also invite your families to watch church with you from wherever they are across the world and just get some extra support that will help them maximize the Simama experience. And then fourthly, we're gonna provide you what we call the Simama guide, just something brief that helps you have the clues on how to lead your group every week. So you don't have to be an expert to lead your group. Now, we're really thanking God for this experience and the opportunity he's given us. And my prayer is that as we take advantage of the season, rather than just waiting to see what the season brings us, as we proactively engage with our families, as we seek by God's help to lead our families in a conversation that could bring freedom and healing to them, as we seek to do something that we probably will not be able to do in normal times. My prayer for all our families is that 2021 will be remembered as the year God began to bring healing, God began to bring uh, acceleration, God began to bring great things in the lives of every one of our families. Hey, we're praying for you as pastors. We're praying for this church. We're praying for every single family here. And our prayer is that God will truly bless us as we walk this journey together. So God bless you.